Hey Bayside, Brandon Short here. And if you're like me, you may have grown up hearing the phrase, actions speak louder than words. You know, in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, at the very end of it, Paul is saying, so whether you eat or drink, no matter what you do, do it all for the glory of God. Try not to cause other people to stumble. Try to see others as more important than yourself, not for your own good, but for theirs, so that others may actually come to know Jesus. And then in light of that, Chapter 11, the very first verse, in light of all of that, Paul says these words, follow my example as I follow the example of Christ. It's interesting to me that in this moment, he uses his words to encourage them to heed his actions. You see, he knows that if all they can do is repeat the words, that doesn't actually lead to lasting change because change is embodied and change is lived out. But to be honest, when I would read this as a kid, I would get a little bit upset at Paul. I'd be like, who are you to tell me, oh yeah, imitate me as I imitate Jesus? I mean, seriously, that's how I would read this passage. But as I've studied the Bible more and getting to really know the person of Paul through his words, I know that Paul says that only after saying things and being open about his sin or being open about his past, his hurts, even his suffering, his questions, and his passions. He doesn't say, imitate me because I don't live with these things. He doesn't say, imitate me, somebody that doesn't sin, that doesn't have questions, that doesn't have doubts. He says, actually, follow me, aka you can trust me as I am trying to live in Christ. And some of the level, some of the reason you can trust me is because I'm actually honest about these things. I'm somebody who has tasted redemption and still claims, like he does to the Philippians, I don't have all of this figured out. See, it's in the midst of his mess that he's still attempting to glorify God no matter what he does, even in the things that are as small as eating and drinking. Friends, may that be us today. Not people who merely settle for knowing words and knowing lines, though they are so important, but those whose actions speak more and whose lives move into the direction of others.